Let's mention now Pluto in Capricorn. Uh, that's a special story, of course. We know that current crisis of the world started when Pluto entered the sign of Capricorn, which happened in 2008. And this transit will definitely end in two, uh, 2025. And according to the global government, they have global government, that there, there should not be, until 2025, should not be more states and governments of the national states. We need, they say, only one government that will be managed by the small corporate fascist groups. And they will rule in a technocratic state. And... Uh, uh, Actually, that would be the beginning of the, of the rulership of the machine over a human being. That's really funny, I guess you say. Another utopia, and we had a lot of, of them in the history. But the question is here, what is our version of this world with Pluto in Capricorn? Well, for us, that can be that the, we can begin to create a human structures human networks without borders without pyramids where there will be place for everyone which will gradually later on lead to more human world this is how we can integrate this energy in a way we can say that after this pluto transit through the sign of capricorn there will not be capricornian structures in this world you know so what will be we will see instead of that but let's go closer, let's take a closer look at uh, that what is happening on the last degrees of Capricorn. Uh, in the year 2021, 22, Pluto will cross the path from the 25th to 28th degree of Capricorn. It will be on this degree, 27, 28, also during the year 2023. And America on USA has Pluto on those degrees in its horoscope. So let's clarify this a bit. The Pluto cycle is considered to last 248 years, which is not precise enough. Now we see that in the year 2022 and 23, Pluto will be on 27 and 28 degree, but the last time was there in the year 1977 and 1777. So it's not exactly 248 years. And in 1970, in 1776, America was founded. And now it is, uh, Pluto is there at the same degree for the first time. So we don't know. We do not. We do not know exactly what happened with with Pluto return because it's not easy to follow this aspect. Human beings do not have this in their lives because they don't live long enough to experience this. But even though, if we do not have many experiences with this, we know the meaning. So what would be the meaning? The meaning is that uh, after this transit of Pluto, nothing can remain the same in America. Um, so we can assume that um, current changes that are happening at the top of the pyramid um, actually means the end of the pyramidal structures or the ruling structures that were made or enthroned when America was created, perhaps between 1776 and 1777. And it's not just that what happened at the end of the 18th century. Actually, after that, followed the French Revolution in Europe, which happened in the years 1789 and 1799. And then actually new world order was established also in Europe as in America. I mean, new order, not world order. So as we know that the rule is where Pluto goes, nothing remains as it was. Now we have to expect something like that with America. Something has to die in order for something to be born. Um, the question is, of course, 
will we know what is happening, you know, because we live in the time where they are saying us complete nonsense. Everything is hidden, and that was see what we see as news is actually programmed. But I think it will not be possible to hide that America does not exist or that it's falling apart or that things are happening like that. By the way, let me mention that Taiwan has Uranus and the 28th degree of Capricorn. And Pluto will now conjunct this 28th degree in the horoscope of Taiwan. And this is also one of the places in the world where fights are possible. There is a lot of army there. China wanted to join Taiwan many years before, but they still did not manage to do it. So we will see what will happen. I only hope that it will not be some destruction there.